Okay, so this strip is being powered by a filtered DC voltage. Our transformer is powering a diode array with uh, some filter caps. And this is not a standard option that we offer. We offer it by request. And the reason is, is because when you use a filter cap, you have to have a very specific load. You have to know all your variables because each variable will change things drastically. Okay. Now, what I did is I took this LED strip and basically I have 12 volts DC going to it and it's drawing 1.9 amps. Now, in front of this, I added a 20 watt load. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to disconnect the 20 watt load in front of this that's on the diode array with the cap. Okay, here I go. And watch what happens to the 12. See that? I just added the load again. Now the total load is 3.7 amps with this on there. So you'll see that that's adding about 1.9 amps. Now I'm going to disconnect it. And watch what happens to the LEDs at the same time. So you how they got a little bit brighter? It's because the voltage went up. Okay, so now we've set it to 12. Now if we add an additional load, so if I add that back to the circuit before the meter here, see? So I set the variac to 12, and then I added the load. Okay. And that's what happens with the filter cap. So you have to make sure when you're using a filter cap that your load is static and that the variables are not changing. So something burns out, voltage changes. This is the downside of using just a filter cap. And that's why we don't offer it as a standard op option. Because a filter cap, when you're using this type of LED product, a filter cap, in reality, doesn't offer a heck of a lot of benefits, all right, because I'm going to show you the dimming using, okay, so I'm removing that. Now, this is dimming using just a standard dimmer in front of the transformer, and you'll see that the dimming range is not much. I just went down, I'm just going to go down just a quarter on the scale. See that? That's, right. That's how quickly it drops. And that's why using voltage drive LEDs, well, an LED is a current-driven device, so you use voltage, well, you get what you get. Okay, I'm going very minor. Now, if we go in for a quick zoom, it's out, and I just slightly raise it. I'm at basically 4 volts onto the strip. And I'm up to 7.5. Now I'm up to 10. Yeah, very hard to get a specific voltage on this. Just to adjust it a little bit, that's how difficult it is. All right. Now I'm going to power it up uh, without the filter caps on. All right, signing off. Okay. So the same strip is now using a full wave rectified DC uh, without any filter caps. Now let me just uh, dim it and you'll see that the dimming range is much better. So I am now halfway down and you'll see that all the colors are on. Now, if I get down to the real minimum areas, what some people will say is without a filter cap, it will flicker a little bit. And you can see that the, before it goes off, there is a little bit of flickering, but it's not... In my opinion, it's not worth the filter cap for that reason. 
typically this type of LED product you know it's usually an inexpensive you can see it's got the resistors on there uh, because it's only a couple bucks a foot so to add the filter cap just doesn't make sense and okay that's with about halfway up the slide right now. So now if I go to full bright, you see I'm bucked up at 12 volts. Now, if I remove this 20 watt lamp, the voltage went up slightly and you didn't see the huge shift in brightness. And that, why is that? Because the filter cap is not in the equation. And the filter cap, unfortunately, has very poor regulation on its own. Whereas in this circuit, we have the transformer. And the tra our transformer has excellent regulation. Sliding up, down. Let's use one hand here. without filter cap. Now if you use the power module, the power module is a filtered and regulated source that can be dimmed as well. Alright, signing off.